Taking a look again at our miles per gallon, the five number summary is 29, 31, 34, 36, 108. Let's visualize that a little bit. We have a tool for visualizing the five number summary. Let's zoom in. We have the minimum value in this data collection is 29. The maximum is 108. The median is 34 here with the orange band. Q3 is 36 and Q1 is 31. So we see that 50% of the data lie between 31 and 36 miles per gallon. Comparing this new visualization, which is called a box and whisker plot, this middle 50% being the box, and these flyers are called the whiskers, we can compare that to the information we get from the histogram, and I see that I don't have nearly as much information, but sometimes we want less information. Notice this whisker, though, is so long it's not really measuring any data at all. It's just showing us where the maximum value is. For that reason, we have a way to rule out some points as suspicious. Maybe they have a trick up their sleeve, like being an electric car. So this is called the 1.5 times IQR criterion for outliers. We call a point a suspected outlier if it is more than 1.5 IQRs, 1.5 interquartile ranges away from the median. So looking at our data, the IQR we saw is 36 minus 31, so it's 35. So if a point is 1.5 times that number, 36 minus 31, that's 1.5 times 5, or 7.5. If a number is more than 7.5 greater than 34, or 7.5 less than 34, the median, then we flag that number as an outlier, and we mark it with a dot. So these whiskers now don't extend to the max and min. They extend to whichever is smaller of 1.5 times the IQR away from the median, or the minimum on the left, or similarly on the right, whatever is smaller, the 1.5 times the IQR, or the distance to the maximum. Here we can see, I happen to know, two electric cars and three hybrid cars. So this is actually a good description of the gasoline cars from this model year in this uh, size category. We can see plotting that underneath on the same scale as the histogram, it tells us quite a bit more information uh, than the unmodified box plot. So most software packages will generate a modified box plot by default, and you'll see it's a, it's a simple command to generate the whole plot. It doesn't really take much work at all. Uh, an advantage of the box plot is that we can compare two different variables quite easily. Here's highway miles per gallon and city miles per gallon for the same cars. You can get an idea that a car that has a very high city miles per gallon might also have a very high highway mile per gallon. Similarly, I, uh, I looked at a data set of about 60,000 movies from IMDb, the Internet Movie Database, and this is the runtime of movies plotted versus year. So here we have a subset 1990 to 2005, and you can see that the Q1 value, the lowest quartile, dips here around 2003. I'm not sure why movies, uh, they were making more short movies during that time, but you can certainly see that there are a lot of outliers on both sides basically every year because there are short films and documentaries that are quite short and quite long every year. But we can look at this data in a lot more detail later. It is a fun data set to explore. Next we'll be looking at another measure of spread called the standard deviation.